Breaking news, Yellowstone supervolcano stirred by unprecedented. Activity at Steamboat Geyser and Norris Basin. April 7, 2025, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming. In an event that has left the scientific community reeling and the nation on edge, early this morning, a series of explosive natural phenomena in Yellowstone National Park has triggered what experts fear could be the early stages of a supervolcanic eruption. The twin events are record breaking eruption from steamboat geyser and violent seismic activity at the Norris Geyser Basin have combined to awaken long dormant forces deep beneath the Yellowstone caldera. The unfolding catastrophe. At approximately 3.47 a.m. local time, Park rangers and nearby visitors witnessed an awe-inspiring yet terrifying eruption from Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser. The eruption, which sent plumes of boiling water and steam over 400 feet into the sky, was only the beginning. Within minutes, tremors and a series of smaller hydrothermal explosions rattled the Norris Basin. The ground itself seemed to roar as fissures cracked open, releasing torrents of sulfur-laden steam and boiling water. These events occurred in rapid succession, suggesting an unprecedented buildup of subterranean pressure. Seismographs recorded over 1,200 minor earthquakes in the early hours alone, all converging around the Norris and Steamboat areas a red flag that had been long feared by volcanologists. Voices from the field. Dr. Ellen Granger, chief geologist at the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, addressed the crisis with palpable urgency. The intensity and frequency of seismic tremors we're witnessing is unlike anything recorded in modern history at Yellowstone. Our latest models indicate that the pressure is rising faster than we anticipated. This is not a drill we are in the early throes of a potentially catastrophic event. Cal Park Ranger Tom Michaels who has spent over two decades monitoring Yellowstone's natural wonders, described the scene as surreal. I've seen geysers erupt, but nothing like this. The sheer force of nature was overwhelming. It was as if the earth itself was crying out. Our training didn't prepare us for something on this scale. Eyewitness accounts from tourists and residents alike paint a picture of chaos. Visitors in the vicinity reported that the ground shook so violently that familiar landmarks seemed to warp. It was as if the park was transforming before our eyes, said one visitor, describing the trembling earth and rising plumes of ash. Scientific analysis and historical context. Yellowstone's supervolcano has long been a subject of intense study and speculation. Formed by a series of massive eruptions over the past to point one million years, the caldera sits atop one of the largest active volcanic systems on Earth. The last major eruption, which occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, had global consequences that reshaped the climate and the landscape of North America. Dr. Granger explained the significance of the current events. Supervolcanic eruptions are rare, but when they occur, their impact is unparalleled. Although it is too early to predict a full-scale eruption, 
the rapid escalation in activity evidenced by the explosive behavior of steamboat geyser combined with the tremors at Norris demands our immediate attention. Data from satellite imagery has shown alarming ground swelling around the Norse Mammoth Corridor, an area that serves as a conduit for rising magma. Infrared scans indicate an abnormal spike in underground temperatures, lending further credence to the fears that magma is inching closer to breaching the crust. Government Response and Emergency Measures In response to this alarming chain of events, the federal government has activated emergency protocols. Yellowstone National Park has been evacuated and emergency response teams are being deployed to the affected areas. Local authorities in Wyoming, Montana and Idaho are collaborating to secure safe zones for residents, while the National Guard has been mobilized to assist with mass evacuations. Airports in Billings, Bozeman, and Jackson Hole have suspended all flights as a precaution against potential ashfall. FEMA has declared a state of emergency, and disaster response centers are coordinating with scientific experts to monitor the situation around the clock. Transportation routes, including major highways adjacent to the park, have been temporarily closed Officials are urging residents to remain calm but vigilant, following instructions from emergency management agencies to ensure safety. Global Implications and Preparedness Meteorologists and climate scientists warn that a supervolcanic eruption on this scale would have far-reaching consequences. Ash clouds rising hundreds of miles into the atmosphere could block sunlight, leading to drastic temperature drops, disrupting weather patterns worldwide. Air travel would be severely affected, with the possibility of long-term agricultural and water supply disruptions. International agencies are now monitoring the situation closely, Global markets have already shown signs of volatility, and governments across continents are reassessing their emergency preparedness plans. Environmental scientists caution that even a limited eruption could have a volcanic winter effect, reminiscent of historical events that led to crop failures and economic instability.